have this window of time when they are pure. And imagine if we as a society loved them first. Well, if you didn't get a chance to see it at the film festival, you are in luck. You can watch it from the comfort of your own home. The CARE 11 documentary about Lucy Laney Elementary, Love Them First, will air right here on CARE 11 next month. It's great to have Ben Garvin and Lindsay Siever here to talk about this. Thank you guys for coming on the show today. Thank you, Dave. Thank it's you. really fun to be here. You have been working on this for so long. And I, I joked with you a little while ago, and I said, this has been about a year in the making. You said, no, 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 no. Keep going back. It's been even farther in the making. Yeah. It's, it's been about two years. We yeah. started this project uh, two school years ago, so the 2017-2018 school year at Lucy Craft Laney in North Minneapolis. And yes, it has been quite the journey. It started off as a new series yeah. where we'd air occasional stories from the school. Uh, we spent one year inside the school, sort of embedded as a crew, telling the story of the dynamic principal, Mari Friesleben. Yeah and the children there, and her, her really uh, unconventional tactics, her philosophy of love, and she's gaining unprecedented outcomes with children of color there in that yeah. school. And, and, and Maury's done such a good job now that she's taken another job as a high school principal, right? Yes, Ben, you want to handle that? Yeah, Mari just was promoted. She, she promoted to principal of North High School, which is a you know, major high school in North Minneapolis, yeah. and her vice principal, Lisa Pavlak, is now principal. So it's a major step for both of them. They both deserve it. Ben, this is a different kind of shoot for you. You're used to shooting news stories and those kind of things. How much more challenging is it when you're shooting some, a documentary, essentially? Well, I, I, one thing I've learned is that if you just spend enough time with somebody, then they start to trust you. And I think Lindsay mm -hmm. and I learned this the hard way, which is we were there for, you know, I was three days a week for a year, and what a gift of time that was from Care 11. And, and then people just start to open up their hearts and share things that they would never share on a, like you run in for a day and run yeah. out, which is typically, a lot of time we don't get more than a day, sometimes with two days. But, but to be there for a year, what an extraordinary opportunity. And, and I feel like um, the school, uh, grew to trust us over time, and we were yeah. there for some really hard moments and some triumphant ones. And, and I feel like it's impossible to, to walk away from this project without taking a bit of it with you. What did you learn from doing this? I learned, first of all, to trust my instincts as a storyteller, that kind of gut feeling that you have. We'd be dispatched to North Minneapolis often on some difficult stories, but we'd see this school and this beacon of light and all this love on this corner of 33rd and Penn in North Minneapolis, and I thought, wow, that's really interesting, but I have to go back to the news and file my one-minute story. Yeah. Um, but really, I think I had an instinct that there was a 90-minute story there, and following that instinct, letting it unravel, care, having this legacy of storytelling, allowing us to do that. The other thing I learned is that the children in North Minneapolis or any part of our city or country belong to all of us and is all of our responsibility to raise the bar for these children not yeah. they're not that those children in that zip code they're all of our children right. I, I, just to t piggyback, I, I feel like on some level it's no longer enough that we just advocate for our own kids. I feel like we have an obligation to think about yeah. everyone in our society. And I feel like this film sort of um, uh, it, 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 it provokes us thinking about our own privilege in a way, especially as white, Lindsay and I as white journalists walking mm -hmm. into that school, mostly African American, um, and, 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 and I think it helps an audience think more about yeah. their own privilege too. And I, I think that's resonated too, right? I mean, this has gotten national attention. Yes, it has. Um, we're in some film festivals around the country. We will air in 35 cities over the next two weeks across the United States. And then again, September 12th, 8 p.m., right here in CARE 11. And if you want to see the film before then, we have a few tickets left at the Riverview screening uh, Ooh, September 5th at 7 p.m. And if you just go to CARE 11, or go to lovethemfirst.com mm -hmm. and click on screenings, you can learn more about other screenings we have available. Ben and Lindsay, thank you so much for coming and talking about this. Do watch it. It is absolutely amazing. And it airs on right here on CARE 11 on Thursday, September 12th at 8 p.m. Thank you so much for Thank your you work. Thank you for having us. Thanks Thank for you. chatting Thank you, everyone. about it today.